Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss about a plant called Capsicum Anum. I might have included this in plant uh, poison series, but it is not a poison as such. You're not going to die from it. You can call it a plant irritant. So I'll be discussing about introduction, active principle, sign and symptoms, the post-mortem findings, treatment and medical legal aspects related to this plant. So before starting this video guys, please subscribe to my channel, like this video if you find it to be useful and share it with your friends as much as you can. So let's start. First introduction, capsicum is also known as chili fruit or red chili or red pepper or in Hindi we call it as lal mirch. It is used as a condiment all over the world. It has a pungent acrid smell and a burning taste, burning irritating taste. If we talk about the seed, then the seeds are about 0.3 cm long and wide and the seeds resemble dhatura seed. On the picture on the left is the seed of this plant and the right one is the capsicum anum plant picture. So let's talk about the active principles now. There are two main active principles. First is capsicin and second is capsaicin. Both of these are extremely acrid or pungent. They are volatile in nature, non-alkaloid and non-fatal. You will not die from eating this but they are very pungent in taste, burning sensation, irritant. So if we talk about the sign and symptoms, so first, if it is applied on the skin, then you are going to face irritation and vesication. Vesication means formation of blisters on the skin. So if it is applied, if the powder, if the red chili powder is applied on the skin, then you are going to face irritation on the skin and blisters, vesication will be seen. If, it, if the powder is thrown into the eyes, then thrown into the eyes or if you have touched the chili, from inside and then you have rubbed your eyes then what we are going to see is we will be seeing lacrimation there will be burning pain in your eyes and redness of the eyes will be seen now if someone has ingested it then in in if it, if you have ingested it in large quantities then it is going to act as an irritant poison also you'll be having burning sensation in the mouth, throat, esophagus, stomach, just the pathway like it will start from the mouth because you've had it in your mouth then it will uh, the burning sensation will be there in throat then it will reach esophagus then it will be there in stomach so the entire pathway will be uh, burned. If we talk about the treatment then on skin if there is uh, if the powder is applied on the skin, then you can simply wash it out with water and if there is some serious problem like vesication blisters, then treat it symptomatically according to the symptoms that you are able to see. If it is ingested, then uh, the tongue has to be scraped off by a blunt edged instrument okay because tongue is the organ that tastes so you are going to feel very very much burning and irritating sensation on the tongue so it's very important to scrape off as much as chili powder as you can so tongue scraping is done and after that ice is uh, ice can be applied on the tongue to give it a cooling sensation to get a relief from all the burning if we talk about when it goes in the eyes, then obviously you need to wash your eyes as soon as possible with cold water. Also, corticosteroid drops may be helpful in this case. So these were the three points how you can treat if you have, uh, if chili powder has gone into your eyes or if you have it on your skin or you, if you have eaten it. Then the medical legal aspects. It can be, uh, it may be thrown into the eyes, the powder may be thrown into the eye by a robber in order to facilitate a robbery. Also, the powder can also be used to, uh, in order to 
torture a person so that they could extort some confession out of another person or in order to get money from another person so it can be used to torture a person then there is a special condition called hunan hand this is also known as chili billy this is basically a painful contact dermatitis situation which is seen in people with uh, who have continuous exposure to this chili powder like the people who work in the factories uh, so this chili pepper contain capsaicin and capsaicin as i've told so that leads to uh, so the people who are prolonged pro, who have prolonged exposure to this chili powder they get sometimes they have this condition called hunan hand which is a contact dermatitis situation so this was all about capsicum anum please like the video share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel thank you